Hello, fellow voiceover stars! It's your friend and mentor, Bailey Varnas here, also known as the Vocal Supermodel. So, today's video is part four in our Perfect American Accent series, and we are going to learn about back vowels. Yes! Am I right? <laughs> now, before we get started, I want to make sure you have already watched the introduction video for this series that I'll have linked below in the description, because in it, there's an assignment for you to do so that you have a good recording of your natural sound before you learn this material, and then you will record your new sound after you finish this course. So be sure to watch and record your before so that you can see your growth once you're done. And if you've already watched and recorded yourself, then let's get started. So we are now going to work on what are known as back vowels. So see if you can keep up with this really complicated nomenclature. So we covered front vowels, which were all formed in the front of your mouth. And then in the last video, we did mid vowels, which were formed in the middle of your mouth. And now we are going to work on back vowels, which are shockingly formed in the back of your mouth. <laughs> Don't worry, the phonetic type names will get much more complicated very soon. So enjoy these easy definitions for now. So there are six back vowel sounds, and they are oo, u, o, a, a, and a. Okay. I know it feels like a lot, but we are going to easily break down each one of these sounds in a nice order. And with back vowels, there are certain mouth placements that they all share. So to form these sounds, you want to make sure you have a relaxed lower jaw, the tip of your tongue is behind your lower front teeth, you arch the back of your tongue to varying degrees depending on the vowel sound you're trying to make, and you round or relax your lips to varying degrees depending on the sound as well. So we're going to feel each one of these placements right now. So first, try tightening your jaw and relaxing it to hear the difference. It should sound something like this. So to make these back vowel sounds clean, make sure to have a loose lower jaw. Now, the next placement is to have the tip of your tongue behind your lower front teeth. So I want you to push your tongue so that it's touching the back of your bottom teeth, but not your top teeth. So feel that. And then I want you to pull your tongue away from your teeth backwards so you can hear and feel the difference. So it should sound something like this. So make sure your tongue is touching behind your front lower teeth for clean back vowel sounds. So the next placement is with your tongue as well, but this time we're going to keep your tongue glued to your bottom teeth, but we're going to create an arch shape with the back of it to head towards your soft palate and then relax it to feel the difference. Okay, so that should sound something like this. So depending on the vowel sound we're trying to make, you'll have a high arch or a low arch in the back of your tongue. And lastly, make sure to round or relax your lips. So from rounded to relax, it'll sound like this. So the important takeaway is to make sure that your lips are rounded or relaxed to make the back vowel sounds properly. So those are the placements you'll need to be able to form perfect back vowels. So let's go through each of them now one by one and try some practice words and sentences. So we're going to start with oo. Now phonetically, oo is often written with two dots after it, as you can see. This indicates that it's a long vowel sound. So when you see it at the end of a word, it's often written followed by two dots. Sometimes when it's in the middle of a word, it has only one dot or no dots after it. So the mechanical placement for the correct pronunciation of oo is a relaxed lower jaw, the tip of your tongue is behind your lower front teeth, you arch the back of your tongue upwards towards your soft palate, and round your lips boldly. So that's the proper placement for the back vowel sound oo. Now, let's try it a few times. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
So now, let's say a few ooh words for practice. So, repeat after me. Shoo. 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 Youth. 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 View. 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 Undo. 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 Brutal. 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 Breakthrough. 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 Uber. 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 Childproof. 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 Now we're going to do a few short sentences to make sure the oo sound is really working for you. The movie told the truth. The movie told the truth. A room with a beautiful view. A room with a beautiful view. Zookeepers watch the kangaroo's mood. Zookeepers watch the kangaroo's mood. The group of school children ruled in duck duck goose. The group of school children ruled in duck duck goose. So those are a few ways the oo sound can present itself. So listen for the oo sound in words that you hear, hear the different ways that it comes up, and practice with more words in your perfect American accent workbook. But for now, we're going to move on to the next back vowel sound, uh. Now, phonetically, uh is a shorter vowel sound, so you don't usually see any dots around it. So the mechanical placement for the correct pronunciation of uh is a relaxed lower jaw, the tip of your tongue is behind your lower front teeth, you arch the back of your tongue upwards towards your soft palate, and you relax your lips. So almost everything is the same from the oo position, but instead of rounding your lips, you relax your lips. So that's the proper placement for the back vowel sound, uh. Now, let's just try it a few times. Uh. 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 So now let's say a few uh words for practice. So repeat after me. Booked. 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 Full. 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 Unhook. 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 Overlook. 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 Understood. 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 Bully. Bully, bully, sugar, 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 wooden, wooden, wooden. Now we're going to do a few short sentences to make sure the uh sound is really working for you. A rookie took the playbook. A rookie took the playbook. The pulley system withstood. The pulley system withstood. Your wool coat looked good. 
Your wool coat looked good. The butcher was a crook who hoodwinked. The butcher was a crook who hoodwinked. So those are a few ways the uh sound can present itself. So listen for the uh sound in words that you hear, hear the different ways that it comes up, and practice with more words in your workbook. And now we are going to move on to the next back vowel sound, o. Oh. Now, phonetically, o oh is another shorter vowel sound, so you don't usually see any dots around it. And we're not saying o. Oh. That's actually a different sound we'll learn when we get to diphthongs. This is the short back vowel sound, o. Oh. So the mechanical placement for the correct pronunciation of o oh is a relaxed lower jaw, the tip of your tongue is behind your lower front teeth, you arch the back of your tongue upwards towards your soft palate, and you round your lips and drop your jaw slightly. So you're opening your mouth a little bit more and rounding your lips a little bit more from the uh sound. So that's the proper placement for the back vowel sound o. Oh. So let's just try it a few times. O, oh. O, oh. O. Oh. So now let's say a few o oh words for practice. So repeat after me. Hotel, hotel, hotel. Protest, protest, protest. Mobile, mobile, mobile. Obese, obese, obese. Romantic, romantic, romantic. Domain. Domain, domain. Nomad, nomad, nomad. Ohio, Ohio, Ohio. Now we're going to do a few short sentences to make sure the O sound is really working for you. I'm hopeful for the role. I'm hopeful for the role. Let's obey the yoga teacher. Let's obey the yoga teacher. The soldier is in rotation. The soldier is in rotation. A local grocer has robust produce. A local grocer has robust produce. So those are a few ways the o sound can present itself. So listen for the o sound in words that you hear, hear the different ways that it comes up, and practice with more words in your workbook. And now we are going to move on to the next back vowel sound, all. Now phonetically, all is often written with two dots after it, as you can see. This indicates that it is a long vowel sound. So when you see it at the end of a word, it's often written followed by two dots. Sometimes when it's in the middle of a word, it has only one dot or no dots after it. And some people don't use this vowel sound at all in their American accent. It happens a lot more with British accents, but it is part of American standard and is technically correct for certain words. So I want you to be able to identify it and do it if you need to. So the mechanical placement for the correct pronunciation of all is a relaxed lower jaw, the tip of your tongue is behind your lower front teeth, you arch the back of your tongue upwards towards your soft palate, and you round your lips into the shape of an oval. So your tongue may drop slightly, but you really round your lips to make the long all sound. So that's the proper placement of the back vowel sound all. Now, let's just try it a few times. All, all, all. 
So now let's say a few all words for practice. So repeat after me. Paul. 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 Bald. 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 Foresaw. 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 Nautical. 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 Hall. 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 Awkward. 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 Enthralled. 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 Assault. 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 Now we're going to do a few short sentences to make sure the all sound is really working for you. A lawyer filed a lawsuit. A lawyer filed a lawsuit. The blog caused nausea. The blog caused nausea. Haul away the appalling cauldron. Haul away the appalling cauldron. She flaunted in her waltz. She flaunted in her waltz. So those are a few ways the all sound can present itself. So listen for the all sound in words that you hear, hear the different ways that it comes up, and practice with that workbook. And now we're going to move on to the next back vowel sound, a. Uh. Now, phonetically, a uh is a shorter vowel sound. You don't usually see any dots around it. So the mechanical placement for the correct pronunciation of a uh is a relaxed lower jaw that's a little bit wide. The tip of your tongue is behind your lower front teeth. You arch the back of your tongue upwards towards your soft palate and you round your lips very slightly. So you're open more, but still a bit rounded. So that's the proper placement for the back vowel sound, ah. Uh. Now, let's just try it a few times. Ah, uh. ah, uh. ah. Uh. So now let's say a few ah uh words for practice. So repeat after me. Crop, crop, crop. Snob, snob, snob. Forgot, forgot, forgot. Tonic, tonic, tonic. Not, not, not. Mom, mom, mom. Dissolve, dissolve, dissolve. Ominous, ominous, ominous. Now we're going to do a few short sentences to make sure the ah sound is really working for you. The cod tasted odd. The cod tasted odd. Dissolve the orange polish. Dissolve the orange polish. The office of an optometrist. The office of an optometrist. We spotted the oxen by the poplar. 
We spotted the oxen by the poplar. So those are a few ways that the a uh sound can present itself. So listen for the a uh sound in words that you hear. Hear the different ways that it comes up and use your workbook for practice. And finally, we're going to move on to the last back vowel sound, ah. Uh. Now, phonetically, ah uh is often written with two dots after it, as you can see. This indicates that it is a long vowel sound. So when you see it at the end of a word, it's often written followed by two dots. Sometimes when it's in the middle of a word, it has only one dot or no dots after it. And ah uh is a very common sound in the general American accent. In fact, ah uh is often used instead of all for a lot of words. So keep that in mind if you're hearing that a lot. So the mechanical placement for the correct pronunciation of ah uh is a relaxed lower jaw, but wide open. The tip of your tongue is behind your lower front teeth. You arch the back of your tongue very slightly and you relax your lips. So your jaw is very open, but not tense. And it's a very relaxed sound, almost like a sigh. So that's the proper placement for the back vowel sound, ah. Now let's just try it a few times. Ah, ah, ah. So now let's say a few ah uh, words for practice. So repeat after me. Pa, pa, pa. Balm, balm, balm. Father, father, father. Doctor. Doctor, doctor. Pasta, pasta, pasta. Garage, garage, garage. Almond, almond, almond. Aria. Aria, aria. Now we're going to do a few short sentences to make sure the ah sound is really working for you. A calm massage at the spa. A calm massage at the spa. The scholar spoke of Prague. The scholar spoke of Prague. Have a java by the palm. Have a java by the palm. She's starring in the drama. She's starring in the drama. So those are a few ways the ah uh sound can present itself. So listen for the ah uh sound in words that you hear and hear the different ways that it comes up or doesn't come up. So those are the six back vowel sounds. So it can be a really helpful exercise to say them in order so that you can physically feel the difference in your mouth. So the six back vowel sounds in order should sound like this. Oo, o, o, o. Ah, oo, o, 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 a, a, oo, o, 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 a, a. So that's a great way to practice your back vowels and make sure that you're feeling and experiencing the subtle differences in your mouth. Now, in the next video, you're going to hear them blended in some really cool ways as we continue with this work. But for now, get to practicing by using your Perfect American Accent Workbook. If you don't have the workbook yet, there is a link to it in the description area. I'll send it right to you, and you can get to perfecting those back vowel sounds. <laughs> so keep practicing, and I'll see you in the next one.